been in business for 63 years. It was started by my father and mother in 1956. Our main industries years ago was automotive, now in a number of different industries, but mostly we make parts for the large machines that make parts for other components that are being made, woodworking, testing, machine tool cutting, laser cutting, grinding, all kinds of things. Lincoln Park had a lot of legacy equipment. They were looking to transition to some newer equipment, something a little bit more in the 21st century. Thieves Lewis was founded in 1859. We're the only manufacturer that has 160 years of continuous operation in North America that designs and builds these types of machines. Lincoln Park wanted a machine that could mill all the way through to center line. Frantic controls are really a great control for a boring mill style machine. Obviously a highly capable control. The key things we're looking for right now are accuracy, repeatability, and ease of maintenance. How long the machine can hold those accuracies without having major rebuilds done. That's a key right now. The accuracy is a key to doing our work. Lincoln Park Boring is known for their high accuracy standards. So this machine actually was upgraded with a high accuracy package. We have to hold ourselves during the build to a very strict procedures and they couldn't be more happy with the machine and tolerances that are being held on this machine. And what's nice is the Fanuc Control was able to deliver the performance needed for that. We are a Fanuc authorized integrator and a big part of our business is actually going out and retrofitting. It's been a great partnership with Fanuc. They have a real trust in Fanuc and that helps us have a trust in Fanuc. We've grown and, and worked together on a number of things, such as this control to help this machine be more useful for low quantity parts. This machine has much more capabilities than the machine it replaced. The features on this machine are, are much more robust. The machine I was running before didn't have column travel or table travel, it was a floor mill. This control runs it a lot faster. Obviously the rapid travel rates and the capabilities of the spindle are a lot greater than the ones that I had run before. And that gives us a lot more opportunities for tooling and things like that. The new machine we're delivering here later this year will be set up the same way. So the operator could go from any of these machines and completely you know, know where everything's at and be well accustomed to it. I think it's a lot better for running production style. Even two pieces, you make up a lot of time on the second piece after you've got the program. This machine can take a cut a lot better than the older machines I ran. I can go deeper and faster. I'm taking cuts running 100 inches a minute. This machine has more gusto for sure. We're able to do many things that we couldn't do with the other machine. We can put holes around and outside at various degrees much, much faster and more accurately. Undoubtedly, we can go after new business with it. When you make an investment in a large boring mill or a Giddings and Lewis, yeah, you're buying a generational machine. What lifetime support, the key there is the lifetime. Most of the shops are dealing with machines that are 10, 20, 30 years old. Everyone's kind of in that same problem of obsolescence issues. We've had very good luck with the Fanics. We don't have a lot of service calls. It's the kind of thing when it's not happening, you almost don't notice it. But when you look back and you've had problems with other things, then that's when you notice it. Yeah, anything we retrofit would have a FANUC control. GNL and Beans, Giddings and Lewis and FANUC are where we're headed in the future.